you guys it's me back again i haven't done a vlog video whatever in a while and i'm so excited that i could do this bold and creative look with you all it literally took me no time um i kind of knew what i wanted to do and i executed it hopefully um in a great way today is the fourth of july so i hope you all have a great day or having a great day with your family and friends and finding new ways to educate yourself and help yourself grow not only yourself but your family and your friends as well and putting yourself in those uncomfortable situations during those times that we are in um, to grow learn expand whatever the case may be so I hope you all are enjoying this look and enjoy this video so if you would like to see how I created this makeup look then please keep watching hey guys so let's get started um first i am going to um moisturize my face and i am going to moisturize my face with my watermelon glow pink juice y'all know this like is my fave thing to moisturize my face with before i start to do my makeup um at all so i'm literally gonna put this all over my face moisturize my neck Then I'm going to use this Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist and um, I've read a lot about this and um, it's really good to use before you put the foundation on your face. This is literally like a mist for real because you can barely feel it like on your face. That's why I sprayed so much because I could barely like feel it at all <laughs> um so now i am going to go in with i'm gonna bring my mirror a little bit closer i'm gonna go in with uh, um precisely my brow pencil by benefit and i like really 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 love this um i have it in the number four so good i use the brow pencil and i use the um gimme brow brow gel which is like a match made in heaven literally my new um go-to brow combo and by the way i have not gotten my brows done like at all so they look a little raggedy so i'm gonna try to make them look not as raggedy as possible. <laughs> is do y'all do your brows and eyes before you do your foundation or do you do your foundation and then you do your brows and eyes that's the question that I would love someone to answer so here are my oh I'm gonna stay back <laughs> here are my brows they are popping like this combo y'all is I don't even know if you can see it but this combo is amazing. Oh, amazing. If you haven't used it, you definitely need to use it. And you definitely need to hop on the train. Like, I promise you, you will not regret it. So now, I am going to go in with my um, Get a Grip. I don't even know. Well, anyways, I am going to go in with my Get a Grip. 
um this is endurance eyeshadow primer this works wonders like your eyeshadow won't move your eyeshadow won't crease um this is for if you have oily eyelids or you just have a problem with getting your shadow to stick this is for you and you should definitely definitely try this out i got this from ulta uh, and if y'all hear my dog barking in the back it's because we are having a little gathering um just some close family over um to have like a little cookout to be with one another because we haven't seen each other in so long due to all this COVID stuff um so if you hear my dog barking or you hear a lot of excess noise please don't mind that um I'm probably gonna turn it down and do a little um background music play while I speed up everything and do parts of my makeup so just a disclaimer <laughs> Now that I have my eyeshadow primer on, I'm going to go in and I am going to use um, some concealer and I'm going to conceal under my brows and then bring that over my whole lid so that way um, it can conceal my eye and the creases that I have in my eye because I'm going to go in with um, a color that needs to pop and be a little bit more pigmented. So I want that to stand out. So that's why I'm going to conceal my eye um, so that way it can give that, that very like bright like their color So now I'm going to go in with my Kim K palette and I'm going to um, put a brown in my crease so that'll be my transitional color so then that way I can transition my lid color to my crease color with a smooth transition so there's no harsh lines at all. storybook cosmetics and it has this very very pretty blue there's castle blue there's prince blue and there's fairies blue um i haven't picked which one i exactly want to use yet but it's between this blue this blue and this blue so we're just gonna go with it and see how it goes okay y'all i think think i'm gonna go in with this baby blue color and by the way I've never really done like bold bold colors so this is going to be like the first kind of big bold color that I do so let's pray let's pray it goes good to buff all of this out um, so then that way there's a smooth transition. <music> Which this was super quick, simple, easy. Um, 
I am going to spray my face one more time, time and then start with my foundation. And the foundation that I'm using is a um, foundation from Limelight by Alcombe. Um, this is a wax based foundation. Um, it doesn't sink into your pores. And I've really been loving this because it has been um, doing me justice and wonders and it's turned out good every time I've tried it. So I'm not complaining um, at all. So what I do is I take my beauty blender and my foundation and I just turn my beauty blender in my foundation and then I just dab all over my face. And like I had a blemish and so like I had a blemish here and you can't even tell like where my dark spots were. <laughs> just know this is my go-to like of course so now that I have this in place I am going to um, contour my face and then I'm gonna let this bake a little bit and then I'll brush it all off actually now I'm gonna be baking with my Becca Chrissy Tegan palette um I haven't used this in forever like this used to be my absolute go-to it has um two highlighters a blush I don't even know if you could tell so it has two highlighters a blush and a contour and I mix the blush and the contour together so that way it gives me like a a bronzed blushed look <laughs> to brush away all the excess. After I have done this, I'm going to take what I used in this blue to kind of go up underneath the undertone of my eye um, and then go smudge it out with the crease color. Now 
gonna go in with my Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara and do the bottom of part of my lashes and then I'm gonna comb out my top lashes um, and then I'm gonna highlight. <laughs> Anastasia's Beverly Hill and I'm going to use the Glow Getter. face with this pollution protectant and I'm gonna pop on some gloss completed look I'm gonna run my fingers through my hair here is the completed look I hope you guys loved this look I hope this video inspired you and helped you to use a bold color because Lord knows I never use bold colors and I even though it was on my lid it still is a bold color for me because I don't do this often um, but I loved how everything came out um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you all have a happy 4th of July. Um, enjoy times with your friends, family. Still figure out ways to grow, learn, educate yourselves, and put yourselves in uncomfortable situations. I love you all, and I cannot wait to see you again in my next video.